Hi, this is Brian Reese from Media Solutions here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're going to show you how to animate a GIF, how to make a GIF, and how to make it animate. First thing we need to do is understand we have one layer here. We need to put each one of these on an individual layer. And once we do that, we'll put it in the, I'll call it the GIFnizer, and make it look like she's talking. Okay? So we'll go ahead and click that, that list. And we'll go ahead over here to the Rectangle tool. And we will highlight each one of these one at a time. Or will we? And control J. The problem with doing it that way is she still has a white background. So let's just undo that by hitting control Z. Okay. And then go ahead and hit select and deselect. Go down here to the eraser tool. And we want to magic erase. Want everything that's white, except for the whites of their eyes, to be gone. Okay, so be gone. Just click it there, and it's gone. We're going to erase this anyway. We just want to make sure that there's no white around them. Now, go ahead up here to the rectangle tool again. Go ahead and just highlight her. Control J, and it separates it from the pack. Okay, we'll line them up later. Now, go ahead down here to again, or to again, again to the main one. Go ahead and highlight the second one. Sorry, highlight the second one again. Control J. We're probably not going to do them all. We'll just go ahead and maybe do three or four. Just to give you an understanding of how it could happen, how it can work. Okay, no, I didn't put it up high enough, so I can actually hit the upward key and move it a little bit. Okay, then he'll go ahead and click that bottom layer, the main layer again. Make sure it's clicked. Control J. Okay. These two or three look the same, so we're going to go over here to one that looks a little different. Click the bottom layer. Hit the upward arrow again. A little more space on the top. Hit Control J. All right. We'll put just one more. Right, click that bottom layer. And this is the only one with the mouth closed. So we'll go ahead and hit this one that I know of. That's the close one that I know of. Go ahead and hit that. Put up just a little bit more again. Make sure the main layer is selected. Hit Control J again. Okay, we'll go ahead and get rid of this one. Eh, let's do one more. We have this one already. I don't think we have this one. Let's do this. Now these can also be used in Character Animator where you can actually talk and the lips will move automatically, but we're just doing a GIF right now. So we'll go ahead and do this. Select that one. Make sure the bottom is selected. Go ahead and hit Control J again. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this button. Just click Delete. You have all these guys lined up. We want to do first of all, go ahead and put them right behind each other. Make sure they're even. Go ahead and highlight them. Actually go over here and select them. They're already selected. Good. Hit Control T. And I will hold down the Shift key. Increase the size. Put it right about here in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and crop this down just a little bit. Just a lot of it. In fact, let's just make a completely new layer. And let's leave it right here. It's fine. Let's go ahead and just crop it in. Right click here. Where it says crop. Bring that puppy in. A whole lot of just empty space hanging out. Go ahead and click save. Not save. Hit uh, Yeah, that's technically save. Or enter. Okay, now we have these already set up. Next thing we want to do is just undo that. 
Then we want to go down here and create a open up a timeline. Do that by going to Windows and drop down till you see Timeline and click Timeline. We don't want to create a timeline a video. We want to create a frame animation. Okay, so we click Frame Animation. See, nothing's in here yet. It won't be in there until I click Frame Animation. Now, we have that one in there. We just have one. I don't know which one that is. Looks like it's just the top one. Let's go ahead and click the move tool so we don't mess anything up. Then we go down here to the selection here and say make frames from layers. Make frames from layers. Go ahead and click that. And it adds them here. Now, let's go ahead and press the, the, uh, the play button. It's talking kind of fast. Isn't that great? You can speed it up by shift clicking them all and then changing the seconds here to let's go to one second instead of point one seconds. Make it look like that's a little slow. That's way too slow. Let's go ahead and hit stop. Let's go ahead and select them all again. Shift click the first one. Click the first one, shift click the last one, and go ahead and change the speed again. Not clicking really any one of them. Let's do 0.5. Let's see how that looks. Still way too slow. The other way it looked like she was actually talking. So let's go ahead and click that back down again. Control or click and then shift click the last one. Let's go ahead and put it back up to Let's put it to point. I did point five. Let's do point two. Let's see what it looks like. That's a little better. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Okay. Now that's how you create an a, 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 a gif. Okay, a gif. Now, this is how you make it. This is how you save it. Let's go ahead and click stop. Go ahead to file. Export, save for web, legacy. You change it here to GIF 128, no dither. I like it to have all of its color. Okay, looks like everything's set. Go ahead and save it wherever we want. I think we're going to put it on the desktop. I do believe. Save HTML and images. Let's go ahead to uh, desktop. Good to go. All right, yeah. They're all talking. And then we click save. Then we can go ahead and open it up on the desktop by double clicking, opening it up. And she's on there talking. All right, that's great. Anyway, that's how you make it an animated GIF or GIF. Have a great day. Thank you. This is Brian Reese from Media Solutions here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Have a great day until next time.